Hello there fellow 3D artists, today I want to take you on an exhilarating journey into the realm of Gaussian splattering and why it's a true game changer in the world of 3D rendering. Picture this, you are a digital artist or a game developer and you're constantly on the hunt for rendering techniques that can elevate your creations to the next level. Enter Gaussian Splattering, the secret sauce that has been turning heads in the 3D graphics community. Gaussian Splattering is a revolutionary rendering technique that's taking the 3D world by storm. It's also about simulating complex phenomena in the most realistic and visually stunning way possible. And here is why it is so damn exciting. Number one, hyper-realistic visuals. Gaussian Splattering excels at simulating complex materials like water, clouds, smoke and even far it adds an extra level of realism that makes your creations pop off the screen number two efficiency meets beauty unlike some of the rendering techniques that require massive computation power gaussian splattering is surprisingly efficient it balances performance with breathtaking visuals ensuring that your project runs smoothly without sacrificing quality and number three limitless creativity whether you are crafting an epic game world a stunning architecture visualization or mind-blowing CGI for movies. Ocean splattering gives you the freedom to push the boundaries of your imagination. It's like a blank canvas with infinite possibilities. Just like photogrammetry and now Gaussian splattering can transform a series of images into a fully navigable 3D world, capturing every nounce of materials, shapes, and lighting in the process. But here's where it gets truly exciting. Gaussian splattering is not only a game changer in terms of visuals, but it's also astonishingly efficient. Imagine rendering complex scenes in real time, even on a low powered devices, including browsers. Another capability that Gaussian splattering has, the pretty files it produces are very light compared to to photogrammetry or nerves. And also, unlike photogrammetry, there is no need to generate meshes. Gaussian splattering takes its roots from the 3D scanning world and branches off at the point cloud stage. In photogrammetry and nerves, a point cloud emerges from a series of captured images from various angles. If you convert that point cloud into textures and a mesh, you get photogrammetry. If you dive into the realm of neural networks and create a neural radiance field, you get nerves. However, nerves can be computationally intensive and 3D scanning models often require intensive cleaning to remove artifacts. Plus, they struggle to capture reflective or transparent surfaces. Enter Gaussian splattering. Instead of generating nerves or meshes, it takes each pixel-sized point and transforms it into an elegantly blurred elliptical splat that seamlessly blends with its neighbors. As more splats are added and blurred, the magic happens. The scattered points start to resemble the original image, complete with all its materials and lighting. It excels at capturing intricate detail like wires and glass reflections, surpassing other techniques in that regard. Now here's the kicker. While it hasn't found its way into Blender yet, there are fully functional plugins available for Unreal Engine and web browsers, so you can start exploring its potential right away. And as a cherry on the top, it opens up the door to capturing movement, a feature previously unattainable with traditional 3D scanning techniques. So get ready to elevate your 3D rendering games to new heights with the extraordinary Gaussian splattering technique. It's a game changer, a visual marvel, and your ticket to unleash the full potential of your creativity. Maybe soon we'll start to see real 3D movies where you are not constrained to one view angle. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. If you want to spice up your renders, here are some amazing new add-ons that you might want to look at. I've been doing a lot of fluid simulations and you know it can be complicated. Here is a, an amazing add-on. It's best of curves. So you can generate fluids that follow curves. They also support object interactions so you can generate any sort of fluids you want. It just looks amazing. You get ripples and everything. And fluids also come with materials ready to go so you can start making your fluids interactions quite easily. And if you're creating modern cities, you're going to need neon signs, posters, billboards, and everything. So this procedural signs generator can be quite useful. Just look at some of the renders you have here. Just really amazing. It's a, just a drag and drop. And you can create a large variety of signs, neons, and uh, uh, billboards. Take a look at it if you are interested. And finally, we have cell fluids. I really love this add-on. I've been playing with it quite a lot. And given that the difference between this add-on and something like Manta Flow is miles apart in terms of computation requirements, there is no way I would use Manta Flow to create a, a river or a lake or waterfalls because that would take quite a lot of time and unless you're going to render something really up close and you want it to be super realistic that's where i would recommend something like matterflow because it takes up too much 
computational resources. All links are in the description. Let me know what you think about Gaussian splatting, when you can expect it to come to Blender. I'm sure someone is working on something, so I'll be keeping an eye out for a Gaussian splatting add-on for Blender. Thank you for watching. Keep blending. I'll see you in the next video.